Tom and Jerry for the SNES. This game is fairly easy, but it does have its um, fair share of difficulties as well. Uh, I'd say it's kind of uh, an in-between game um, between easy and difficult that should be pretty easy to just pick up and beat after, you know, maybe an hour or two into the game. Um, so let's get started, but first, here's the intro. Tom and Jerry used to be called Jasper and Jinx. Tom was Jasper and Jerry was Jinx. It's a whimsical cartoon about a cat and mouse playing cat and mouse. Get it? It's a play on words. Many see it as a heartwarming tale of two opposite animals who don't quite see eye to eye. Or is it? You see, Tom plays the role of the bloodthirsty cat driven by the elusive thoughts of having Jerry as his next meal. In return, Jerry must run from this psychotic feline, where one false move could be his last, and end up in the belly of the beast. Stricken with fear, he must now adapt to his life on the run, or prepare to be swallowed into the mouth of madness. When you break it down, it's really a high-octane story based on murder and lust. Created in 1940 by the sick imagination of William Hanna and Joseph Barbera. Welcome to this episode I like to call Rock Hard's Tom and Jerry. <laughs> okay, let's go ahead and get started. So each, um, there are four, four stages in each, uh, or four levels in each, um, let's just say there's four stages in each stage consists of three levels. So let's go. So these green things are, are your weapon. You can either throw them or you could, let's find someone, yeah, or you could either jump on them. Now, most of them take... Like, see how I bounce on him three times to, to kill him? Most enemies in this game take at least two or three bounces. So the cheese puffs, if you get three or a hundred of them, you get a free guy. And it's worth getting, um, collecting them, taking the time to collect them. Because there are some cheap moments in the game where you can only learn from experience. Like, you, like platforms will fall out from underneath you without any warning. And the game's pretty actually um, uh, pretty generous with the with the hit points. So you start out with four, um, and the mechanics take a little bit to get used to, especially the jumping, because you have to get um, a certain jump down. It's like almost kind of like a super bounce. So see how I can jump about this high, um, about this high, but watch there see how i hit my head in the cloud i can't quite hit that cloud but watch this now i go up to it so if you jump right when you land you'll get an extra bigger bounce and it's kind of hard to get down you have to be really good at the timing of it and you get um uh your life gets um re-upped every at every level which is good so those little fingers, those remind me of uh, Bobby World, Bobby's World, except for the tips of the finger on Bobby's World has um, a booger on it. It would be interesting to see if the same company made this, made the game, if they the same company made Tom and Jerry and made Bobby's World. But Bobby's World never got an official release. It was just a prototype. And I think I'll probably actually be playing that game um, for my next walkthrough. So this level can actually be quite difficult. It's it's pretty long, and it has sections where you don't know where the bottom is. And unfortunately, you can't scroll in this game. Jeez, I'm just taking hits. Um, so, like I said, like sometimes you're only going to... Um, you have to kind of clip through this. 
to get on there. There we go. And the big cheeses, the big pieces of cheese, are um, extra hit points. You have to do that super bounce to get it. That was the hardest thing that I felt to this game, was to get the super bounce down. Without it, you can't... There's no way you're going to beat the game. You absolutely have to have the super bounce. See, like this. Like, you can't scroll down, and it's like, well, what's under there? Well, it looks like this ant that monster's walking, so there has to be some sort of platform. That's my only real gripe with the game. The, the super bounce and uh, no scrolling. So you, you have to do blind jumps a lot of the time. So, like I said, it's worth collecting these cheese puffs. Ah, of course. Yeah, give me these. Excellent. When I needed them the most. Oh, yeah. Get killed twice? By Frankenstein? Frankenstein. <laughs> Frankenstein will blow your mind. So, the level can be... The whole game can actually be very frustrating. Because it's like... Uh, the way it's... It's uh, it's designed, it should be fairly easy. But then you start doing getting hit. Um, and, uh... You know... And it just gets really frustrating. You're like, no, I should be able to beat this game. What's going on? And you just take these little cheap hits, and it just makes you mad. The boss fights are actually pretty fun. So every third level is the boss fight, which is a short level and then a boss at the end. All right, grand total of 1,755 points. So the bad thing about the game is, if you die, you have to start all over again. This part can be actually be kind of hard. I like to take it slow. Well, you can kind of go fast at first. Everything will hurt you. You can get on these things, but if you hit that popcorn, it'll hurt you. Everything will hurt you. There's that little bunny. So just kind of creep along. And we'll probably take at least a hit or two. But fortunately, the uh, the end boss is pretty, uh, pretty easy. Here we go. And there we go. Okay, so here's the end boss fight. So uh, let's grab this, jump over these, and then stick around right here. Just stay right here. Now hit him. Now try to hit him as much as possible. The thing about this is, it's hard to determine where that thing is going to fall. So I kind of like to go back and forth. Oh, I didn't even hit him. You can hit him more than once, too, per thing. So I like to just go back and forth. So when he pulls that thing up, I'll go to this side. Try to hit him as much as I can. And then let's go back over. Oh, see? You don't know where it's coming from. Hopefully he'll be going down soon. There we go, he's done. That's the only frustrating thing about that. It doesn't really seem to have a real pattern to where he's going to drop the uh, the weight. Alright, level two. Here's where the difficulty really starts to spike. Well, not really, but this is going to be probably where your real first frustrations are going to come from. This has very cheap um, platforms that will fall right out from underneath you. So these nails take two bounces. So run from this because all these are going to fall. There we are. So as soon as you land, jump. There we go, because that thing will fall out from underneath you. And it's good that the uh, that you get so many hit points, because you probably are going to take some cheap damage, you know, just because you're, you're like, oh, get me out of here. 
I think this thing falls. Ooh. Scary. See, you don't really know where you're gonna land. I think that thing falls. Yeah, see? Ugh, come on now. Please be, be the end. It's annoying. You gotta hit it, jump on these things so many times. I think this is the end. Yep. Alright. That is the end. Cheese bits. Time's fitty. You ever t did I ever tell you the time I met the Loch Ness Monster? <laughs> I was in a boat. And he comes up out of the water, looks me dead in the eyes, and says, Three fitty. Three dollars and fifty cents. The Loch Ness Monster wanted to borrow three dollars and fifty cents from me. And I said, no, because if I give it to you now, you're just going to come back and ask again. <laughs> oh, cheap. See, this is why you get, well, this is why it's frustrating. These cheap little things. Oh, I want that cheese. I think we can get it. Watch out for the goo. Here. I think we can super bounce. Yeah, and I'm going to grab that cheese. Oh, really? All for nothing. Oh, see? Cheap game. Cheap game. And you got to super bounce to get up that. Super bounce. Like I said, like if anything, you need to master the super bounce. Or you're going to be... Um, not having very much fun. Okay, cool. We got a fresh Jerry. What is he? Or Jinx. Jasper and Jinx. <laughs> Alright, where am I? What's going on? Oh, yeah, you have to go through here. So a lot of the time you're like, what, where do I go? Because this looks like a wall, but you can just walk through it. So this thing will go and you can guide it. I suggest, I mean, if you really want the cheesy puffs, you can go down, but there's a thing right up here, and then just wait, and then hop off, because you're going to go back. Two, three, this. Ah! Ooh. Where am I? See, you don't really know where you're going. Jump for the goo. I'll take that cheese. So what's going on here? All right, the end. Get me out of here. That could be kind of a confusing level. But this left next boss, um, is actually pretty easy. I feel that he's pretty much the easiest boss in the game. And one of the most fun. I love how the, the, the end the end bosses, the sprites are just nice and big. So watch out for that. Now, don't forget that you can throw things. And those little green peas will always be around. You will never run out of things to throw. It seems like they always hook you up. The game hooks you up pretty good. So let's hop over to these ones. Super bounce. Let's get all the way up. And that thing's gonna fall. One of them's gonna fall. Yeah. Oh. I'm gonna die. Nope. I'm like, I'm gonna die. Here we go. Hmm, interesting. Uh-oh. I don't like where I'm at. Oh, I'm so... Okay, here we are. Cool. I'm like, I'm gonna die. Here we go. I'm dead. I don't even know where I am. Let's hopefully... Oh, man, I need a big cheese. Let's see if there's another... Yes! Just what the doctor ordered. One, two. One, two. Aw. Oh. Whoa. I'm gonna die. Get me out of here. How many do I have? One hit point left? Oh, great. 
I need to play extremely well. Ooh, ooh. I think the thing's coming up anyways. Alright, here we are. Okay, so the trick is to go and jump up here. One, two, three, four, five. Oh, no, I got hit. Whoa! Whoops. Two, two, three. Alright, I'm dead. Yep, shoot. I wonder where it's going to make me start. Probably from the very beginning. It would make sense. Yeah, see, this is... Um... This is why it can be pretty frustrating. So let's just try to hurry up and get back to where we were. Let's bounce up here. Take the more conventional route last time. Wasn't a very good one. Go down, and I think we can just drop, right? Yeah. But we need to be careful. You dirty rat! Whoa. I'll take that. Something's gonna fall, right? Something's telling me something's gonna fall here. Yeah. Yep, get me out of here. So you gotta be careful. With those. Three. I don't think I want to be this high. I don't think I really even need to be. Because that stuff's just falling from the sky. No need to be, like, super close to it. Okay, here we are. Alright. And let's... Boom. One, two, three, four, five, six. That's alright, I'll take damage. I think you just gotta hit him 12 times. So if we go jump on it again and just unleash. There we are. Cool. I think we only had to hit him, what, 10? 10 or 11 times? Maybe 10 times. And you can actually just kind of smash buttons or hit start and you'll, you'll, you'll gut through those. So you don't have to wait for the points to add up. These levels are really hard. I don't like them. I don't think they're very fun. You have to land on these things just perfect. Because if you don't, you'll do a melee little jump and you're not going to go anywhere. And there's gaps. Oh, and those rockets are not fun. They're just everywhere. They'll, they just bombard you the whole level. There's another one coming right here, right? I don't know. I don't even know anymore. Yoink. And just go under these. You can actually ride on these, which you'll see here in a second. Get this last thing and then hop on this and go up here and wait there you go what's going on oh actually keep so wait here and then here we are all right cool Ooh. Like, there's so much danger in that level. This next level is probably, is one of the hardest in the game. I'd say it's probably the second hardest. So it's not very fun. Tons of stuff that can hit you. Those tanks, you have to jump on them three times. Oh yeah, see, you gotta take the top route. Ugh. There we go. Go here, and then... Actually, 
think that there's a... Yeah, there's a cheese there if you want it. I don't think I want it. I think there's something else. Yeah, see, there's another cheese right here. So let's drop down here and then wait for that thing to come back around. There we go. It's hard because you got to time it. I usually just skip that one up because it's, it's pretty dangerous to jump from that little platform part. And I'd rather just make it through the level. See? I didn't do a super jump. And I'm like, that could have killed me. And you kind of slide a little bit in this game if you don't realize. That's all right. I just want out of here. I think the... See, don't fall for that thing. Don't get that cheese. Just ride this to safety. Because here's the end. Ooh, we made it. Man, that <laughs> level is not fun. It's hard. And this is a very annoying boss fight. But there's a pretty good method that I've I've learned that... Um... Oh, great. I got hit right away. We're having fun. Oh, good. There's a cheese waiting for me. Yoink. Okay, don't need that second cheese. Uh-oh. Just getting hit. I'm gonna die. Look at that, I'm dead. No, well, hopefully not. We'll see. I have one hit point, but I usually don't get hit at the boss. So the first thing you want to do is hit this, and they're going to drop. See? You have to hop on that once and hit this. You see, you have to create that bridge for it. Hop on it once and hit this. And you gotta do it like ten times. It could be pretty annoying. Oh, see, and that's what happens when... Oh, see? Look, man, if I get hit one more time, I'm dead. Yep, there we are. That once. Ah! There we are. Ooh. Uh oh. I just don't want to get hit. Like, I've already put so much time into this. He's almost done. Just fall already. Come on, fall. Yes! Excellent. Ooh, it's always scary when you when you don't have any hit points left, and like it's a super long boss. It takes a long time to be able to take out. And you're like, man, I'll have to start from the very beginning and do all that. No thanks. So they really amp up the difficulty in the in the last level. These, um, I think the first level is actually probably the hardest. This actually might be the hardest level in the game. So I like to actually just kind of charge it. See, there's those things that fall. Fire falls from the sky, so... Ugh. Nope, see, it's really hard to make that jump because you have to jump on it perfect for the thing to uh, be able to bounce you really high. So let's try this again. Oh, great, yep, same old, get the same hit. There we are. Bounced over. And I think there's actually probably like two of those. Yeah, see? 
What? See, I keep hitting the start button. Ugh, give me that cheese and drop. Because it's dangerous hanging out um, on the top. Because you don't know when that fire's coming. Okay. Here's that part where you absolutely need to that super bounce. Give me that cheese. Give me the cheese. Just as long as I have the cheese, everything's okay. Get me out of here. Yes. I can't believe we made it. You gotta have that super bounce down or there's no way to get up to that top shelf. But it's like those... The fire just rains down, and it's super hard. <sighs> this level's hard as well, but it's not that... I'd say it's a little bit easier. Just because the springs are easier to bounce off of. Come on. I didn't even want them anyways. Take that cheese. Let's go up here. At least there's a at least the fire is not coming. I think the water. What? Did I die? No, okay. Just oh wow. I'm like, oh I'm gonna take a hit. But no, so you can get hit by the small things too, so duck when they come. And there's no really way to go fast. Even if you swim, there's really no way. So let's go try to leave right now. Go up. Okay, cool. We made it out. I really don't like those mechanics. Just about done here. Yeah, here we go. We're done. Cool. So the last level is you have to be real strategic because time is a virtue. You have to... Uh, there's quite a bit of things that can screw you up, but if you get your timing down right, it's actually not that bad. So let's try to go fast with this. And it's actually a really cool um, concept that they came up with. You have to build a rocket. And it will eventually um, uh, bring Jerry his, his demise. But it's a long way up. See how he's... The, the, the paws swatting? You have to keep hitting him. And eventually, a key will pop out. Whoops, I could have hit him three times. I think this one will take him out. There we go. So there's the key. Wait for the spider to come. Oh, weird. Now take him out. And then unlock this and then push it off. Okay, now we got to go to the next one. We pretty much have to do it three times to build a rocket. So wait for the paw. There we go. Whoops. We missed it. So all you have to do is really just get the timing down. Oh, it hit me. Oops. 
All right, cool. There's the next key. Let's take that roach out and unlock this and push it off. All right. Now let's go for the third thing. Uh-oh. You gotta be careful. If you fall from too high in this game, you'll die. Come on. I gotta get up there. This one's the hardest. Because... Because you can fall from that thing. I like to just pre... Um... Um, just be careful. You know? Uh, yes! Okay, now let's take care of the last thing. We got our extra hit point. Uh-oh. Uh-oh, we're running out of time. We gotta hurry. Take this out. Okay, cool. Now let's head back down, but you gotta be careful, because this part can kill you. If you don't know what you're doing... Oh yeah, we really got a boogie. So just re try to remember where the thing was. Okay, we have it. We just gotta take it slow. Remember, there was this thing, and then there's the platform, the spider... Okay, and then drop down. Now wait for him. Now we gotta push this over. I think he... Oh, no, one more push. Okay, now wait for him to grab it. Yes, he grabbed it. We just beat Tom and Jerry. Now, notice how I said he was to his demise? Watch what happens. Look at those beautiful sprites. Boom. To the moon. Alright, I won. I won Tom and Jerry. 9,355 points. Aw, poor cat. So that is Tom and Jerry. Developed by RSP Inc. Um... Yeah, so it's a pretty fun platforming game, um, which you could probably beat, you know, like I said, it just takes a little bit of practice, and uh, it's uh, pretty easy to get down, but it's still got that difficulty in it to where it makes it a challenge and, and fun. Uh, the graphics are actually pretty good, so um, yeah, I enjoyed this uh, quite a bit. So anyways, uh, enjoy the end to Chom, and, to Chom, to Jasper and Jinx, <laughs> um, game complete. Thanks for watching, and I will see you next video game.